welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayush and today I'm going to show you how to draw Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul with a background. So first of all, we'll need a perfect square of 4 cm each side and again I'm going to draw vertically not horizontally and yes, this is the first ever drawing tutorial with a background so I'm really excited about it, let's jump in the materials I'll be using for this drawing first of all, like always, a 0.5 mechanical pencil for sketching and it is a stick for more accurate erasing for inking, I'll be using two Copic Multiliners. First is 0.05 Copic Multiliner for inking thin lines. And for inking thick lines, I'll be using 0.1 Copic Multiliner. A white pen for showing highlights. A charcoal eraser for erasing pencil lines after inking. And finally, some Copic sketch markers for coloring our drawing. So these are the basic materials I'll be using for drawing today's sketch. And without any further ado, let's dig in. So we'll start by drawing his face line starting from here till the center bottom of the box. We'll draw the chin at the bottom but we'll keep it a little towards the left side. Draw the right jaw upwards till the center line of the box. Now we'll draw the mask line just a little above the middle line of box. We'll take it to the face line. And on the left side we'll draw his eye patch. Now from the eye patch, draw a curved line towards the right side. Draw two small circles just besides the V and draw two straight lines upwards starting from the same point. Now to draw the eye, first we'll draw the eyebrow. For drawing his eye, you can also draw a rough figure first just to make it more simple to draw. Then you can start adding detailing to it. I start from the eyelids first, then we'll move on to the inside part of the eye. After drawing the shape of the eye, draw the eyeball inside but a little towards the left side. Also draw some wrinkles just below the eye. Now to draw the nose, we'll first draw a straight line at the center of the mask just below the V. Curve it from below and again draw a V just below it. For drawing his mouth, first we'll draw the outer shape of his mouth. Then we'll start adding teeth inside. After drawing his mouth, we'll draw some wrinkles around it. Draw a parallel line inside the eye patch and then I will draw a circle on the right corner. Our face is ready, now let's start adding his spiky hairs one by one. We'll start from the left side and slowly we'll move on to the right side. Also draw his ear on both the sides outside the box. The right ear will be bigger in size and the left ear will be smaller.
Now before drawing his remaining hair, we'll draw his neck We'll draw his chain starting from exactly below his chin. Now for drawing his remaining hair, I'll draw a semicircle first. Then again, I'll start adding his hair spikes one by one. We'll also add some curved lines inside. And our head is also ready, let's start drawing his lower body. First I'll extend his chain a little bit more downwards, then I'll draw a rough figure of his body and his hand to get a slight idea of sizes, proportion and placement of his body parts. We have our rough figure ready and I think it looks good, uh, we can move on forward. Let's start adding detailing, uh, we'll start from the fingers first. Many people face difficulties while drawing hands and fingers. So don't worry, just follow the steps, first draw its rough figure. Once you are satisfied, you can move on to start giving detailing. Even if you do mistakes, you can erase it and draw it again until you get the perfect results. Our hand is also ready, now we can start drawing his forehand, his biceps and his lower body. So for that again I'm drawing a rough figure and then I'll start giving detailing to them. After drawing outer structure of his lower body, we'll also draw the inside details which are part of his costume. Basically we have to draw two spikes on both the sides and extend the chain till the bottom.
and our drawing is ready let's start inking it now for inking like i always say try to keep a paper below your palm so that you don't smudge pencil lines first i'm using 0.05 copic multi liner for inking thin lines and for inking the remaining body i'll use 0.1 copic multi liner while inking try to do it in one go do not over ink do not get nervous keep calm and enjoy the inking
complete guys I am so amazed with the results it looks really cool even I had no idea how it's gonna turn out at the beginning but after completing it I am loving the results I have drawn my last drawing with a background that is a Super Saiyan Vegeta with a sky behind so I thought why not let's try it in this sketch too I even asked in my insta story to you all that should I add background to this sketch too and most of you had requested for yes so then I decided to add a background to this sketch I was a little unsure initially but then I thought let's give it a background which will highlight our character more so I drew this and no it's not his kagune it's just a background which highlights our character more I used 5 to 6 different color shades for coloring our background and I blended them very nicely. The inking came out neat, no mistakes and the coloring also turned out really well. There were lots of detailing around his face, uh, his hair but we did it and I really enjoy giving detailings to my drawings where it's not so easy to do. Like at the end also uh, in the background uh, after coloring it I used my uh, white pen to draw small dots in the background where basically I wanted to make it look like stars it didn't came out like I was expecting but still it looks good so I'm really happy with this drawing and I enjoyed a lot drawing this and I hope you enjoyed the video too and it's helpful too there are a lot more awesome tutorials and drawing videos coming up in the future so if you're not subscribed yet then subscribe don't forget to ring the bell to get notified whenever I'm on YouTube if you like this video then give a thumbs up and do share your views down below. Also for getting my latest drawing updates you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Ayush Pencil Art. I'll be also sharing the links down below in description so go check them out. And that is all for today guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.